I'm Morgan, um, and this is Noodle Has Mix. I'm going to be cooking, baking some of my favorite recipes. My friend said that I should do this because he loved all of the food that I made, so why not? I have nothing else to do. This is quarantine time. Um, what better time is better? Um, it's called Noodlehead Mix because one, that is part of my personal branding as a graphic designer is Noodlehead Designs. Um, so I decided to stick with that. And then two, the mix is going to be what playlist I'm listening to while I do it. I don't know if you guys are necessarily going to be able to hear it. I don't know how that works with YouTube, if that would be allowed or not. Um, but today... I am going to listen to, actually it's those I put together, um, and I called it Road Trip Mix, and I'll, I'll link it as well, um, but I put it together because my sister, my mom, and I went on a road trip to Colorado, what was that, two weekends ago, something like that, um, and this is what I put together, so this is what I'm going to be listening to today, um, and it just has a mix of everything on it. Um, all the way from Mamma Mia to some Latin music to Cardi B to Lizzo to a little bit of country a little bit of everything on it um, so today today we're going to be making some soft and chewy snickerdoodles also a disclaimer I'm not going to be making up my own recipes because I'm not good enough for that. Um, so yeah, this is what we're going to be making today. Okay, so, first, hold on. So this was another quarantine project that I had. Made a, an apron because I was always getting messy. However, I did not, um, measure it correctly, so this is made for an eighth of tall person. So we're just gonna pretend like I did it right the first time. And we're just gonna fold it up like that. Let me do that real quick. Okay, so today we are going to need flour, which I don't know if you can see this actually. We're gonna need some flour, uh, cream of tartar, some baking soda, some just basic salt. Oh, and by the way, so the, the guy that my friend that recommended me do this, just for fun, um, he's actually coming over tonight, which is why I'm making something and filming something so I can prove to him that I'm doing it. It is happening. Unsalted butter. Heidi brand, because it's cheaper. Sugar, which I have right here. Um, eggs. This recipe, we just need two. Okay, so then vanilla extract and then ground cinnamon. Now, I've never made this recipe before, so I'm not sure how it's gonna go. I think it'll be fine. I don't think anything will be like crazy. Um, so, first, we're just and I'll type out this recipe and everything um, as well, so you guys can also make it. Um, but first, we need to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Okay. And then I also like, I have the type of overhead, actually here, I'll show you. So I have one of these hoods that's metal, so instead of getting a, like a recipe book stand, I literally just take a magnetic chip clip and I just hanging up down there. It's a little bit easier for me to like stand here and just kind of refer back to it um, personally. So. Okay, back to it. Hopefully you don't see me. Okay, so we have the oven preheating. Um, we need a cookie sheet. Okay, just set this to get it ready. So it doesn't say to do anything with it. So I'm just going to put it to the side. Um, next. Yes, I am 
I'm short. It's tall cabinets. I cannot reach things. So I got one of these so I can reach everything. Which one we need, so I'm just gonna get all of them. Oh, and we need cups and whatnot. Handy cups and measuring spoons. So, we are going to, oh, in a medium sized bowl. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Flour. So, that is first. Also, this is the first time that I've used the flour or sugar in these containers. Um, so hopefully it doesn't go everywhere, because that was my problem before this. It just would fly everywhere, which, hence why I needed an apron, because it would get literally all over me. Okay, so two, three, four cups of flour. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay, maybe it's a little bit hard. Can I, no? Okay. We're just going to go for it, then. going well. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine. Here. This is our... This is heavy. This doesn't look like it'd be heavy, but it's fucking heavy. Okay. Well, this is how we're gonna do it then. <gasps> I did not think this through when I bought these. Well, here we are. I'm stuck with them now. Uh-oh. Shit. Okay, hold on. We're just going to use a spoon, because I think that'll be a little bit less messy. Um, also, I'm not a professional, like, in any way. Um, literally far from it. So, if you don't like a technique I'm, I'm using... Probably too much, but in we go. Set that there for now. Already making a mess. We're off to a great start. Oh wait, shit. two and three fours. I might as well just keep using this one. Okay. Let's see. I thought this was gonna go a little bit faster, so Ooh. hopefully I don't run out of battery. I have another one charging just in case, but. So, yes, this is my first YouTube video. I've never done this before. I don't even think you can see my face. Clearly, I've never done this before. So, I think you can at least see the ball. Right? Okay, well, hopefully you can at least, like, kind of see me. I feel like you can. I wish I had a mirror. I need, like, a mirror. So I can make sure you can see me. Okay, you can see me. Whatever. You might not be able to see this. I'll hold it up for you. Um, okay. Also, yes, we are listening to what is it, Alt J right now. Um, before that was Mamma Mia. Uh okay, so follow it is done. For now, it looks like Wow, we're getting nowhere very quickly. Okay. So flour and a cream of tartar. Tartar? 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 I don't know. Who's next? And we just need two teaspoons. Fuck, this isn't open. Oh! Twist. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's two teaspoons. This is going great. This is going very well. Uh, okay, two teaspoons of this. I literally had to Google like what this packaging looks like because could, we could not find it, my husband and I. Okay, cool. Oh, also, yeah, sorry, there's a plant. It's fine. I don't know if you can see it. The plant was like halfway in this bowl, just like hanging over it. 
Um, okay, so there's that. Next is baking soda. So we do one teaspoon of baking soda. I hope these turn out okay. I love snickerdoodles. Alright, that is done. And then we have salt. So how much salt? Half a teaspoon. Okay, and then I'm just going to kind of mix this together real quick. Oh, I found this. Okay. So, yeah, I'm just going to lightly zhuzh this around. Okay, and then it just says to set that aside, so we're just going to put that right there. room temperature and I just pulled this out of the fridge so I might need to heat this up in the microwave for a minute. Um, how much does it say? Three fourths a cup. Um, eight. Perfect. Alright, this is definitely going to have to be microwave though. Okay, so this isn't exactly what the recipe called for but we're doing it. Okay, so next it calls for sugar. So butter and then what's that say? One and a half cups of sugar. So I feel like the sugar is gonna be a lot easier to pour out of this than the flour was. But the spoon is still good. That was still Alright, I'll call that a win. Messy baker. <laughs> I'm always making a mess. <laughs> look at this. I hope you can see this. Like, look at what I did. <sighs> You'll be fine. Okay, so that's pretty close to one. God, that's so much sugar. I'm gonna have to clean this up in a minute. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to do actually like a half a cup this time instead of like guesstimating because that was a lot of sugar that I just accidentally poured in there. A little bit of extra. Okay. That should be, should be. Okay, so close that up for now. I think it calls for a little bit more sugar later on, but I guess I can like one of those. And then somehow here, let's clean up for the second time already. And we're like, ah, I just spilled more. Dang it. Hold on. I was just trying to put it in the sink and it did not work. Also, if you can't see me for some of these shots, I'm sorry. I'm trying. Like I said, this is my first time um, recording or anything like this, so. So, slight malfunction, but that's okay. Basically, what you missed was that I was beating the everything together, was mixing it all together. Um, and. I just needed to mix the sugar and the butter until it was like fluffy and kind of light in color. Um, you do that for about two to three minutes. And then after that you add one egg at a time, mixing as you go. And then once you've done that, um, you do the vanilla extract. And then um, I started to mix in the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. Um, from there, you'll actually... Oh no, wait, no, one other thing, sorry. Um, so then after that, I made the cinnamon sugar mixture um, that goes on top and all over the cookies. And 
So we set that to the side and then what you'll actually see here in a minute um, is I, j I already have a batch in the oven and you'll see me make the rest of them which is basically what you missed so that was it um but yeah so let's see what these look like let's pull these out they might need to go a little bit longer because i kind of made them a little bit too big <laughs> um and it oops, sorry and it also says um let's see basically to make them out of one tablespoon which i did not do um and then place them two inches apart which i also did not do and then bake for six to eight minutes and I did eight just because they were larger um so again like let's see what they look like might need to go a little bit longer so um let me show you. they smell awesome probably should have gotten another thing it honestly might be done, but here's what I'm going to do um, for this second round because it just kind of did it. So, so this is what these look like. Um, they're done. They're soft. They smell really good. Um, I just didn't follow the directions. I just don't have a big cookie sheet right now, so I just wanted to get more on there. That's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just doesn't. As long as it tastes good. That's all I'm saying. So I think this time what I'm just going to do, honestly, I'll just make them snickerdoodle squares. I think what I'm going to do is... going to mix it together and then I'm just going to lay it flat because I don't have a big enough cookie sheet and well, like I just said as long as it tastes good it doesn't have to look pretty so let me mix this up I did try the batter earlier Shh, don't tell anyone. Um, I tried the batter earlier and it was actually really good so um, I think the eight minutes was just right Especially like for how like large these were. Okay, so I do need to let that sit for just a couple minutes. So let's get one of these bad boys out. Oh yeah, I turned the music off because I got irritated that it stopped recording. So let's keep this going. Um, I'm just going to use this to cut it. I uh, literally got this from Dollar Tree. Just something nice to easily cut and then like scoop something up. So. I know this isn't going to be perfect, but. And you can't even see me right now. That's okay. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that tastes good. Those are good. I mean, honestly, it can't be that hard, right? Like, I say that and literally didn't do them right. I just meant, like... They're just cookies. They're going to taste good. It doesn't matter what they look like. So I'm just, again, gonna really lightly spray. There we go. I don't know. Spray the pan, because that definitely, definitely helped. I kind of honestly needed it. Um, and then, I'm just gonna like, here. I'm just going to lay this out on here, honestly. Okay. 
probably shouldn't, but this time I'm literally just going to spray my hand with a little bit of this just to very quickly like lay this out just because I don't want to get flour everywhere again. And there's like not much in here anyways. Plus it's probably not going to look like this whenever it's done. So we're just going to do this and just see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to put these in. And let's see how they turn out. Your time is set for a Kenny. Hi. My dog Kenny. Kenai is his real name. Call him Kenny for short. Okay, he can't be bothered. <laughs> Um, okay, we're still recording, so it's good, so I'll come back. Alright, so my timer just went off. Let's see what the last batch looks like. I mean... Oh, wait. No. Never mind, that is not done. <laughs> Um, I, since I put it in the sheet, uh, part of it is like kind of bubbled up a little bit, so it still looks really soft. So I'm going to set another timer for like four minutes, maybe, something like that. Alright, timer went off for the second time now. This looks a lot better. It is legitimately one large cookie though. So I mean... So that just needs to sit for a little bit before um, I cut it up. So while I wait for that, I you are actually gonna wait just a minute. Well, it's not gonna be. It'll be just a second, but um, I'm gonna wait until our friend Brandon gets here, and I'm gonna tell him that I did this, and I'm gonna record him trying my Snickerdoodle squares because that's what they ended up being. Um, and we'll see what he thinks. And we'll see what my husband thinks, too. Let's turn on the living room light. All right, guys. <laughs> Need you to try these cookies. Oh, it's not so the same. That's all right. Go ahead and feed it to me. What do you think? I don't want to I'm pretty fucking good. Yeah? yeah. Kenai, do you approve? Kenai? Alright, he approves. Mr. Clink. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>